if you have any questions regarding any of your lessons, please do the following in this order. Go to raise your hand in the respective unit, IM me, KMail me with your course name and section number, and last but not least, you can call me. Lesson. In this lesson, we're going to define polyhedron. We're going to identify the faces, edges, and vertices of polyhedra and create a figure from its net and draw nets of polyhedra. The new terms that you're going to be learning is edge of a polyhedron, which is the intersection of the two faces. A face, which is just, just like the same faces that we're used to. Uh, a net, which is the appearance of a solid if it's unfolded, and it can be thought of as a pattern for making a solid. And a polyhedron is a solid enclosed by polygons and the vertex of a polyhedron is a point at which the vertices of three or more faces meet. So we set a polyhedron as a solid enclosed by polygons. So here's some examples and this is why I'm saying this is all it's the same old stuff just new words. Okay. This rectangular prism is a polyhedron. Okay. It has six faces, 12 edges, and eight vertices. Remember the vertices are just where the faces intersect. Okay, The edges are the segments that we see here, the solid ones and the dashed ones. Those are all edges. Then we have a square pyramid and the reason we call it a square pyramid is because the bottom of it is a square. Kind of looks like a rectangle in this picture but we're going to go with them that it's a square. It has five faces, eight edges, and five vertices. An octahedron has eight faces, 12 edges, and six vertices. An oct if you look, an octahedron is just two square pyramids put together. Oops, went too far. Okay, the net of a square pyramid looks like this. And then when you lift up all those triangles to meet at one point, ta-da, you'll have a square pyramid. A triangular prism you're just going to fold up these sides right here and you'll have a triangular prism. Oops, let me see. Fold up these sides right here. A net is what a solid looks like if you unfold it. So if you took a box and you unfolded it and laid it out on the ground, that's the net of the box. And please, whenever you're communicating with me, give me your section number and your class like 202B Section 1 or Section 2. Okay, let's look at some examples. This is a regular octahedron and remember regular means that everything's the same size. Okay, all the faces, all these triangles are the same size. It says name an edge that is parallel to AB. So you remember I like to go through here and mark these. So there's AB. Well, obviously, the segment that's going to be parallel to AB, because remember, they never intersect and they never, um, they never intersect. That's it when they're parallel. I don't know what I was thinking. There we go. Those lines are parallel, so it's going to be segment DC. Name a vertex. Well, there's a lot of vertexes here to name. Any of these points that we see, A, B, C, D, E, and F. Each one of those is a vertex. Okay, that's the point where all the faces meet. So it says name a vertex. You could have just named one of them, but I listed them all here just to help you out. Name a face. Now remember, well, in this octahedron, your square right here is not a face because we can't we can't see it. It's, it's gone because the two squares have been put together. However, you can see all the triangles. So if I've got a triangle back here that's AFD, I got a triangle back here that's FDC, okay? Then I've got this front triangle here and this front triangle. So there's four. Well, the bottom is just like the top. So four plus four is eight. But it wants us to name it. So let's see how they named them. Any of the triangular sides, for example, triangle BCE. They use this one right here. B 
but you could have used any of them. You could have said triangle ADF or triangle DFC, triangle AED, triangle DEC, and so on. You could have named all eight of them. Now, I must have picked out the wrong instructions for this because they don't fit. There, if you look back in your lessons, there are certain names for polyhedrons that all the faces are the same size. Every face is the same size. So if you look at this, there's one, two, three, four triangles. If I folded this up, it would be a triangular pyramid. All the faces would be the same size. Now there's a special name for that. It's a tetrahedron. Okay, we can call it a triangular pyramid if we want, but the official name is tetrahedron. It has four faces, each of which is a triangle. And let me add that on this particular tetrahedron, they all have to be the same size. A cube is kind of like a tetrahedron because you've got all those sides that are squares and they're all the same size. Now this example is asking us to draw a net of each polyhedron. Well this is a rectangular prism and this is just my example earlier where I said if you took a box and you cut it down and laid it flat, this is what it's going to look like. Okay, you're going to have your four uh, faces here and then you're going to have these two faces. Okay, so our lesson summary. A polyhedron is a three-dimensional figure whose boundaries are polygons. The plural of the term polyhedron is polyhedra. Each flat surface of a polyhedron is called a face of the polyhedron. A line in which the faces of the polyhedron meet is called the edge of the polyhedron. A point at which faces of the polyhedron meet is called the vertex of a polyhedron. And a net is what a three-dimensional figure looks like if you unfold it. Nets can often be used to calculate the surface area of a three-dimensional figure.